Alrighty guys, um, another Premier Z video coming at you. Uh, just wanted to show you how far along on the parts car we are. Uh, pretty much got everything done. Um, the doors, fenders, hatch, the whole interior is gutted, so if you need anything out of the interior, just let me know. Um, so this is where we're at on the parts car. I was just getting the door, took that off. Um, Fenders are all off. Bumpers coming off. Don't worry about the engine. The engine's not for sale. So we get the parts car. Anyway, uh, Joe Vide um, had an overheating issue. Came back. Um, he had one of a tear in one of his hoses, causing the leak all out all over the place. So he's good on that. Um, what I really wanted to show you guys here is the console program. A lot of you guys ask me, um, you know, what is the console or how do you check stuff? Well, here, as you can see, is um, the Nissan Data Scan console program that you can get from, what's the good word on TT.net, I believe? Um, anyway, he might not sell, he might, there might be another guy. But anyway, you can see here that it's idling properly, it's now not overheating anymore. Um, the alternator is working perfect. You can see the O2 sensors are flying back and forth. Um, the, the throttle position sensor, you can uh, set it right there. It's usually at 0 0.44 or 0 0.46 or 0.48 right around there. Um, you can see the injector duty cycle idling, so it's perfect. Um, so yeah, this, uh, this program allows you to do a lot of stuff. Um, now, if we close that out, you can see what kind of diagnostic codes the computer's throwing. I don't know if you can see that right there, but it says detonation sensor. So his detonation sensor on this car is bad. Um, see here, you come down here to reset the ECU. You reset it, and it just keeps popping back. It's plugged in over there, so obviously um, it's not working correctly. Um, you can do speed trial which is nice, zero to 60 times. Um, you can uh, check data logging, which is kind of cool. You can uh, data log what the engine's doing. Um, do a couple of runs, and it, and it logs it later, so you can go back and check. Put the dashboard up. Um, so yeah, you can do, uh, also it's got active tests here, which is pretty nice. You can search, uh, turn off each individual cylinder. Let me show you. You hear that? Do, 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 do. See, you can turn off each individual cylinder to find out which one's firing, which one's not firing. Base idle adjustment, you can click that. It's obviously no change because it's set correctly. Um, you, that basically takes the control away from the computer so you can adjust the uh, idle uh, manually. And then once you adjust it manually, you click stop, and then the computer takes it back over. Yeah, you can see in here, nothing's overheating, everything's good, oil pressure, idling like it should, everything's good. Alright, so I, did, I fixed the, the leak that was coming out, and she's running beautifully.